What's going on everybody? This is BH. So like I said, I answer questions using this. It's the only time I got to really do it. I try to take some of these videos off of me being in my vehicle, but it is what it is. So the next question, the previous question was uh, a little comical. Some of the responses I've got off of it, but it is what it is. Um, now someone asked me like this for some reason this is a, a repetitive question that I get and that's the questions that I'm answering is someone asked me like how do I finance my hobby and a lot of that has to do with what level you want to be in if you just want one animal it's not a question that really needs to be answered do the best you can and I'm just going to say that we always want to try to practice uh, premium care but you know it, it's all about how open that individual is and what their budget is uh once you start getting the animals over i'll say eight inches long that's when you start getting into needing larger enclosures and things like that and i'm gonna say eight inches because why not give them the best that you can reptiles shouldn't be kept in aquariums everybody knows that everybody has a <laughs> a counter argument that's counterintuitive to what we're trying to achieve you know as a whole in the hobby you know what I mean so the thing is is that that being said I'm not even going to touch on that but when it comes down to financing what I tell people is either you could do put money to the side and get what you actually want um, the worst thing you can do in this hobby is go to an expo and just grab anything but and that's something that's usually reserved for like children and younger individuals if you're an adult you have more money to put into it try to make a sound decision on what you want and build an enclosure first and the best way to finance something like that is just to kind of uh see what the budget is go on the forums if they're still around go on social media ask around be objective and do your own personal research on you know with animals that if you do your independent research that usually tells you what the costs are going to be if it's an animal that requires high humidity you're going to pay some money if it's an animal that's from an arid reason you kind of get away with a little bit of uh unintentional neglect and that's just keeping it 100 if someone's new to the hobby i'm going to tell them initial investment 200 250 dollars that's lights you know enclosures the whole nine um they have a lot of you know, you kind of want to go PVC level enclosures. They tend to be a lot better in regards to keeping temperatures. But I'm going to say 250. If you're serious and you got more than one animal, you might as well go ahead and double that. Okay? We didn't even put into account food. So, here's the thing. When I first started out, even when I was bringing in whatever amount of money I was into the household, you know, I still grabbed like a little side gig and I was trying to do an acquisition so I, I just grabbed a little side gig and all the money from that side gig went toward my hobby so it allowed me and this is before write-offs and everything else it allowed me to provide premium uh, husbandry to the animals that I acquired so you know for people that want to get serious and want to be breeders I'm gonna be real with you you can start slow there's a lot of guys out here that are good at giving advice on starting slow but you gotta have some sort of budget. You gotta have enclosures to put them in. So I'm always gonna say $250. And I'm gonna say finance it with money that you're not using for your household. Don't come into this hobby trying to think or, or with the assumption that you're gonna make a bunch of money that's gonna you know, give you back the household money you used when you convinced your husband or your wife you know, that this was super lucrative. You played yourself. So, Start off with 250 as your starting point. Try to get a side gig if you're gonna get super serious. And when I mean side gig, you can go get a Chick-fil-A job. I don't care who you are. You could be a banker, you could be a lawyer. Get yourself a side gig to finance it. Because there's no point in there's no point in trying to, you know, how can I put it? Use money that's that's you know that wasn't set aside. How about your boy?